Today we are removing the stereo from a 2002 Toyota 4Runner. Uh, this stereo we see in the shop for the single and the six CD changer both having problems uh, and we are able to take care of those. We're going to uh, set the parking brake, uh, insert the key in the ignition and shift to a lower gear. Uh, we're going to start with down here around the center console and with finger pressure pull this panel up that goes around the gear shift and pull that back from the front panel and we're going to start at the bottom right hand corner of the front dash panel move to the left side and pry this panel from the dash uh, there are clips holding this all in place and all it takes is pry pressure to remove all these clips now we do have the uh, passenger airbag light here on the side blinking uh, with the ignition on you do not want to remove this connector uh, it can show a uh, false uh, signal to the computer and you'll have to go down to the dealership to have that straightened out. Uh, however, at the top, at the back, we're going to push the trigger down on the top connector. This will disconnect the uh, uh, emergency flashers. Down along the side is a, another connector for the clock. I'm going to move down to the uh, the connector here next to the uh, clock assembly and leave the one remaining one that goes to the airbag light. Uh, all these connectors are different and keyed. They also have a little trigger on the back of them that you push down here and it releases the lock so that you can remove the connector. We're going to now move the panel off to the side here that gives us a little more play disconnecting the uh, top connectors here and so on so that we can get access to the stereo. Looks like we have uh, four bolts holding this stereo in. We're going to remove the top left screw. The bottom left screw. These are both on the left side. And some Toyotas, instead of screws, we see it's a 8 millimeter bolt with a Phillips head on it. So you can use uh, either or. Uh, we've also seen power antenna problems on this uh, vehicle and uh, that will be a video that's uh, in work uh, next because this vehicle happens to have a power antenna problem so we'll be looking for that video as well. We have the uh, screws holding the radio and dash which was given the stereo its ground. So now we've uh, removed the four screws, going to pull the stereo from the dash. This is going to give us access to the back of the stereo. We have uh, two, an <laughs> we have two antennas. Again, we've removed the ground from the stereo and this is causing the uh, sound here in the car. Uh, all these connectors again are keyed. They fit only one spot on the back. We have the stereo, the CD changer, and in this particular model there were two antenna leads. But they all remove out. Uh, we also have uh, this vehicle has the premium sound system uh, for an amplifier and if you were to look for the amplifier you would follow this bundle back down through the dash right down to this unit here this is your amplifier in this vehicle there is one screw here on the left holding it in place and one screw down here in the dark holding this amplifier in place you would remove this amplifier and uh, use the connectors that go into this if you're installing aftermarket it's much easier than attempting to use uh, low level and go through the uh, connector here in front of the amplifier uh, this is how you remove the stereo from a Toyota 4Runner hope this video has been helpful thank you for watching uh, if you have other questions look at our website carstereohelp.com we answer many questions and have other, many other help videos thank you for watching